Hi you guys, my name is Abby. Welcome back to the channel. I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant, almost 31 weeks tomorrow. So 31 weeks pregnant when you're watching this. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through our registry items and share some of the things that we put on there and kind of talk through them. There's a lot. Lewis! Ow. Lewis yeah. <laughs> it's our dog, Lewis. Um, there's a lot. I kind of have it organized behind me in category, if you can tell. So let's just dive right in. I thought I would start with kind of our travel essentials because I feel like these are normally the more expensive kind of bigger items. So for our infant car seat and kind of the beginning stroller, we got the Duna, which I was pretty on the fence about just because you can only use it for max about a year, 10 months to a year, depends on how heavy your baby is. So I was a little unsure since it is like $500, almost 600, but reading the reviews on it, I mean, Amazon has like 10,000 plus five-star reviews about this. It is just so convenient not having to take your baby out of another car seat, putting them into a stroller or carrying around with those big heavy pumpkins. This thing has wheels. You just pop it in and out of the car. You can take it on planes. You don't actually need like a car seat base. You can kind of use it on the go. So we decided to go with this for the first year and we'll have more babies, um, hopefully, to use it as well. And our brother and sister-in-law use it and it's honestly just so convenient. So this will be our infant car seat and kind of like day-to-day -day stroller. So then for our like life stroller, we got the Mockingbird and this is the single to double stroller. So this to me was like, a must this stroller can actually convert from one child to two and they have tons of different configurations with it we ended up getting the bassinet option and then um, just like the normal seat and then later when we have more than one kid we can actually expand it and add a second seat to it and they're stackable so it's not a super wide stroller it's still skinny fits through doorways but it can fit your toddler and your baby so this was like so um, impressive to me. A lot of the other similar like systems for a stroller were really expensive, over a thousand dollars. And the Mockingbird's only like 450, which is still expensive, but for a really high quality, a super customizable stroller like this, it was pretty much like a no brainer to me. And it feels really, really nice when you roll it. So I can't wait to like use this and go on walks with it and put our baby in it. And it's just gonna be so much fun. When it comes to baby wearing, we definitely plan to do that um, for a little bit. So um, we got the Ergo baby carrier that you can wear the baby like front ways or back ways and on your front or your back too. And this one just felt like a little bit more athletic kind of for like hiking and being outside on the go in Phoenix. And we got in this really cool olive color so that Caleb can use it too. And he feels and looks really cool with it. So this is really nice. It's really high quality and we added this to the registry. We also got the Solly baby wrap, and I know someone ordered that first, but it hasn't come in, and that is like one of the fabric ones. It's really good for infants and newborns, and it just is like more like the cloth wrap, so we got one of those too. It just hasn't come in yet. So for some accessories, um, I got these clips. I put these on the registry. They're like really big carabiner clips because the Duna does not have any storage on it. So if you are just using the on the go out and about, it'd be nice to like clip your purse onto this or a water bottle or your keys or whatever and not have to like carry it around. And then I also got these battery powered fans and this is just from Amazon. And we actually got two of these on accident, but I'm thankful for it. Neither of Caleb and I's cars have the rear um, upper air conditioning vents. So it just gets really hot in Phoenix. So having a fan like this that we can just attach to the car seat will be really, really nice. Um, just so that the baby gets good airflow in the back seat. And then the last thing that we got that's like travel related is this little car mirror that goes on the back seat of the um, headrest so that as a parent you can look in the mirror and see your baby in the car and I just thought this was like kind of a nice little gadget and easy to put on the registry since they're not super expensive you kind of have like a good variety of price points next category it would be like sleeping I'm going to just preface this I went crazy with stuff for the registry in this category honestly because 
I had three showers, so I had a ton of people that I knew wanted to buy gifts and yeah, I just wanted to have all the options on there and not have to like have this baby, the baby's not sleeping, doesn't like their PJs or whatever, it's not working. And then, you know, I just prepared for everything, okay? I put everything on there. So I'm gonna start with like what the baby will actually sleep in. And I honestly couldn't tell you guys like the difference between these things yet. I'm still learning, but I heard really good things about the Ollie Swaddle. Also, I'm out of breath because in between I'm like running back and forth, so. And I'm just very pregnant. <laughs> so this is the Ollie Swaddle. It's supposed to be really, really good. And um, you don't have to like physically do the swaddle yourself. It has Velcro. It's like this really nice stretchy material. And then I'm pretty sure you tie it in like a knot at the end and they just kind of stay really hugged in. So this is an option. We got a couple of these actually in a few different colors. I think a lot of moms really love this swaddle. So they like to gift that. Um, and they're really feel like really good quality. So it'll be, be nice to have a couple different options of that in case baby like pees through or poops on or I don't know, spits up on it. The next one that I also we got, and I've heard good things about this, it's also a swaddle. It's the Halo Sleep Sack, and we just got it in a white color. I couldn't tell you anything about it. I just heard that people like it. So this is another swaddle option that we got. You guys, when I say we went crazy. So I also got a Dreamland Baby weighted sleep sack, but I know that this will be when our baby gets a little bit older. Um, this is for eight to 16 pounds, so zero to six months. Whereas the swaddles are really just when they're like infants and newborns, um, but this really pretty sage color. Um, I know a lot of babies love this here, a lot of really good things about it. So went with one of those and I'm excited to see if our baby also likes that. And then the last like sleep outfit thing is baby Merlin's magic sleep suit. I love the yellow color. And I don't know anything about this one either, but this is three to six months also. By the time our baby is six months, we're not gonna have anything to sleep in. I'm aware of that, <laughs> but we will see what baby likes best. And then we can order more in different sizes as they get bigger. But I was just so scared that we were gonna have a newborn that doesn't wanna sleep, which I'm sure that's what could happen, but we're prepared. Okay. So we also ended up getting the hatch rest and this is the second generation. Again, I couldn't tell you the difference between them. I don't know if this is the newer one or what. I kind of think I didn't go with the newest one. I think I just went with like the normal one because I think it does the same. And I've heard this is like a must have. I've heard a lot of parents go back and get two of them because they just need them for like every room of the house. So. I'm also excited when they get older, they have like the sleep training lights on here. So it's like, if your toddler always gets out of bed, it's like, hey, you can't come out of your room until the light turns green type of thing. So they'll be able to use this for a very long time. I don't know if this is necessary. It's a humidifier. We live in Phoenix. It's a very, very dry, it gets very hot. So they got a humidifier. And if the baby doesn't like it, I will. So either way that will be used for a monitor, I ended up going with this VTech video monitor. I read a lot of reviews from people saying, don't do a monitor that is on your phone only, like you want one with a physical screen. So I ended up getting this one. It had really good reviews on Amazon. I'll link it below. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like people are either like, it's fine, you know, my monitor's fine, or they hate their monitor. So this one had pretty good reviews on Amazon. It wasn't absurdly expensive, so we went with it. We do have a very beautiful crib that the baby will transition into later. And we're gonna get the Newton Baby breathable crib mattress for it. And then we got the Newton Baby breathable sheets as well. And that mattress is actually really cool. It's, you don't need a mattress pad for it. They actually recommend not using like a cover um, since it's 100% washable. And then I got these pretty little yellow muslin Newton sheets to go with it that are also breathable so that it doesn't matter, you know, whatever, if the baby rolls over onto their stomach or something, there's no fear of, you know, suffocation or anything. So we have that crib upstairs, it's not down here. Then for like, while the baby is small, small, we'll have the baby in this little bassinet that's still in the box, cause we're gonna be moving here soon. Um, and this one was just from Amazon too, but it had good reviews and it's actually collapsible. So you can use it on like the stand or just as like a basket. So it's good for travel. And then um, also, yeah, it just like kind of folds down and collapses. 
So that'll be for when the baby is very small and still in our room. And then we have the crib for when they get a little bit older. And then this, we got the Graco portable pack and play, um, just in case we travel or if baby goes and stays at someone's house for the night. I don't, I really don't know. I just know that these are good to have on hand. Again, I don't know, okay? I'm just doing what I'm told and what I've read and these come in handy apparently, so. <laughs> Let's go to feeding because again, this is like a category that I was so overwhelmed by because I'm gonna try breastfeeding. Hopefully that's successful, but also you just don't know. I feel like you hear so many stories of like, it just didn't work with the baby, blah, blah, blah. I don't want any comments about like, it could work for anybody. I just know everybody has their own experience with that. So I prepped for both breastfeeding and bottle feeding and um, hopefully, we don't have to go to bottles, but if we do, it's also not the end of the world. So I did get a pump and this is the LV Stride. It is a hands-free, hold on, I gotta catch my breath. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, this is the LV Stride and it's the hands-free electric pump. It kind of lays flat under like a nursing bra. It's hands-free, like you said, and battery powered. You're not like hooked up to a wall or kind of stuck. You can be on the go and um, easily pump if you need to. I don't know how to use this. I don't know yet when to use this. I need to learn, but um, I read good things about that. And I ended up going through Aeroflow and they get like a prescription from your insurance for you and do all that. So we got that very discounted, very discounted. And um, yeah, so I would check out going through Aeroflow and ordering through them. And then I actually ended up getting some like free online like breastfeeding classes too all about that um which was nice so also got the boppy pillow this is kind of like the half moon one and it's still in the box but it's a really cute tan color with like a little stripe <laughs> pattern um this is just like a great little like lounger but also to rest the baby while you're feeding and you all know what a boppy is okay this is something that was actually sent to me. This was not on my registry, but I think that this is super cool. So this is called the Baby's Brew and it's a portable bottle warmer. And I feel like bottle warmers were pretty like controversial when I asked people, like some people said they loved them, some said they didn't. I babysit a lot and I love when people have bottle warmers because it kind of just takes the guesswork out for me. So if someone's babysitting or whatever, um, it's nice to have a bottle warmer. Also, this just like goes in your diaper bag and it's, you charge it and then it like put or heats up your milk or formula, either one to the perfect temperature that it, you need. And it can, yeah, it can work for formula or breast milk. And then, um, you can choose which bottles you like to use with it. So this is like the adapter. I ended up choosing the Dr. Brown's bottles. I heard really good things about them. That was also a big thing that you read about where people are like, some bottles babies love, some they hate. I don't know. I went with the wide neck bottles. I couldn't tell you why. They had wide and narrow neck. I just went with the wide. I just guessed. You guys, a lot of this stuff, I'm like, I don't know. I think one is for breastfed babies and one is for bottle fed. I think the wide neck is for breastfed, but I could be also wrong. Okay. Um, I got two of the Hakas. So breastfeeding works. The Hakas are supposedly really good. They catch like your let down <laughs> again i don't know i just know you put it on the one boob that's not in use so that you can catch any like extra milk and our doctor gave us this we didn't buy this they just they just gave us that formula this is a breastfeeding cover um it's this really cute little green pattern with rainbows this is the picture of it it kind of goes over like an apron so it looks really easy to use in public and it's lightweight, it's breathable, it's like a muslin cloth. So here in Phoenix, when it gets hot, it won't be too hot for the baby under that, which I really, really liked. Um, I got some of the Silverettes, Silver Cups. Heard those are really good. Got, I'm not sharing that, because I know it's controversial. I don't want any opinions. Um, I got a million things of burp cloths because I know that people say you need a billion of these. And then I um, also got some silicone bibs because why not? <laughs> Those won't be used for a while. A bottle brush to clean bottles. And then kind of on like the cleaning front, we also got this drying rack and this um, parts 
sterilizer because you have to sterilize your bottles and stuff. This thing's pretty big. I know they also have like sterilizer bags that you could also look into. I was just recommended that one. And I think that's everything for feeding. Oh my gosh, so much. I'm just gonna get up and be out of frame here, but these are all like toy things, like the swing loungers, things that we got. Um, okay, this is kind of cool. I saw this on Amazon. It is a little mat. I'll show you the picture of it. It's really cute. It has like a wooden arch with all these fun little dangly toys and this pretty little mat with it. And it just looks, it honestly is thin and easy to like, bring around and store so I thought that was really sweet and kind of fun just to like stimulate baby's brain and looks comfortable too hopefully Lewis doesn't eat Lewis will definitely eat all the baby's toys but this thing's kind of heavy okay this is the swing that we got it is the Graco duet connection with multi-direction which I heard the multi-direction was very important this is what the swing looks like Okay, great. I read that the multi-direction is really important because some babies don't like to only be swung in one direction. So if you buy an expensive swing and it only goes one direction and then your baby hates it, it's kind of like, what a waste of money. So this one can go forward or side to side. So that's cool. The last two things that we had, sorry, Liz. <laughs> last two things that we had, this is a Snuggle Me lounger, which I know that these have some controversy to them and some of them were just recalled so just to your research on them I don't plan on ever letting our baby sleep in this or ever being in it without my eyes being fully on our baby so I don't know maybe just use your own discretion there and then this is the baby Jorn bouncer and we got it in this pretty like sand color which these are expensive um but I've just heard really good things about this bouncer and our family gifted it to us, which was really, really nice. So any type of rocker, bouncing, kind of like comfort movement things I think are really good for babies. The last category is like, I don't know, health and safety things. So ended up getting this infrared thermometer that you can just put over their forehead, ear, forehead. Yeah, ear or forehead. This is an electric nail trimmer. That's supposed to be really good for babies. It has different like sizes. This is the Frida Nose Snot Sucker. These cute little silicone brushes for their bath. This is that rubber ducky that tells the temperature. It's supposed to be um, pretty important because I know temperature is kind of important. Then I just got some unscented um, shampoos and lotions that <laughs> I think um, are good for babies. Also, Eucerin. We also got some Desitin. This is like the cutest little towel ever. It has little bear ears and a hood. Isn't that so cute? Baby's gonna go in that. And then for a bath, um, we're gonna be in an apartment. We're not gonna have room for a sink bath. So I got this for like the tub and it fills up from the bottom and then baby just kind of lays in it. And it said that this was good from zero months to six months. Six months. So it should be a good option. Then hopefully it's like a quick dry easy solution and it's not so big and so bulky so besides that we just got like fun clothes and diapers I got some postpartum care things just like the diapers and nipple cream and I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube so hopefully <laughs> that's okay um but so far that's everything that's a lot I don't think you need all that I just had a ton of parties and a ton of family members that wanted to gift us things um which was really 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 nice if you guys have questions or thoughts or you love a product, let me know in the comments. And we're getting ready for baby. We're getting close. We're at 31 weeks. So baby is poking out, which is really fun and exciting and kicking a ton. We're so thankful. So Lewis has no idea there's a baby. He thinks all this is for him. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll put all the links in the description box. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.